it's early, it's like 4 o'clock in the morning. I'm gonna walk to the ferry, so it's almost an hour. I could take a bus or something, but I decided to walk. And then it's a two hour ferry ride to uh, Helsinki from Tallinn. So that's kind of the objective today. And then just spend the afternoon in Tallinn, get maybe a nice lunch, see the sights, and then double back. So, you know, it's like 17 euro, I think, for the round trip ticket. And I'm just doing normal coach, I guess. So it's not, you can get like a, a special private cabin if you want. You can get a ticket for, to eat. Uh, a buffet on the on the uh, ferry, but I'm not going to do that. I, you know, it's only two hours, so I'm just going to probably sleep on the way there and sleep on the way back. So let's go on the morning walk and then get on the boat. Sun is rising. This whole area, the Saddam Turig, is kind of like where the uh, old warehouses are, and it reminds me a lot of San Francisco. Pier 49, where they kept some of the old architecture, yet yeah, everything's modernized. A lot, a lot of shops, restaurants, cafes. This terminal is massive. As you can see, those ferry boats are just huge, right? So a lot of people are in the traffic yesterday afternoon, which is the middle of the week. It is summer, but it was intense. There's a lot of people traveling back and forth in their cars. So. Yeah, getting the tickets was easy. Let's see if I can, it's easy to actually get across on the ferry now through customs. I'm not really sure. I, I didn't actually research anything. I just brought my passport and hoping for the best. I only got a day pack, so it shouldn't be that problematic. And COVID restrictions are pretty much gone everywhere so far that I've traveled in Europe. So I don't suspect Finland will be any different. So let's go find out what we can find on the ferry. Maybe Finland is part of the EU. I actually don't know, which is kind of where I'm a geography major. But anyway, they have these Ukrainian refugee signs everywhere, kind of pointing them in the right direction to give them some help. It's kind of cool. A lot of scooters. That's universal everywhere now. Yeah, so it's a little bit of a walk into town. I'm going to go check out the downtown first, see if I can find anything and maybe get a coffee. I haven't had a coffee yet today. Let's check it out. So I wanted to mention, I get super, super motion sickness. Like I, I can never take a boat. Uh, but that ferry, it was smooth. This is like absolutely no problem. So that's something to keep in mind if you get seasick. Ferry is actually a good option. Interesting. Right kind of near the, the dock, the ferry area. Res there's this residential area and it's got this beautiful serpentine park just kind of winding through it with cafes and you know places for your dogs kids whatever pretty cool looks like there's a lot of these canals that kind of go through the city it's a very flat city as well 
time to find another cafe for another stop, another coffee. Yeah, beautiful, like, uh, it's basically like lakes, right? From what little I know of the geography, this is very much like Sweden and Norway. Very little topsoil, basically just flat rock that the glaciers kind of scraped off a long time ago, so there's nothing left but these, you know, islands of rock, basically, and that's kind of like what this region, what the cities sit on. But they have tons of water access, and like all oh, these promenades, like miles and miles and miles, and just, uh, Tons of things to do, you know, rentals, volleyball, but yeah, it's pretty cool. So I'm kind of heading out of the city, but I'm going to double back and eat lunch inside the city, so we'll keep exploring. Cool bathrooms. They even have a light that tells you if it's occupied or not. I think you have to pay to get in. Maybe not. Well, maybe they are free. A depiction of the topology here in the uh, Sweden, Norway, uh, Finland. Glaciers just scraped this stuff flat. Took everything off. So the whole region is like this. So even when they, for example, when they do septic tanks, when they build houses, they can't build septic tanks because they'll hit uh, bedrock. And so they have to, that's why in Sweden they came up with the composting toilet. Uh, and all the houses use them, right? Yeah. Very interesting topology. Flat. Tell it snows here and there's a ton of ice. Right? We've got these things on the side of the streets in the city. Right? Gravel dispensers. Interesting. Interesting. So I guess there's a lot of heavy drug use here, but they approach it differently than they do in the States where, you know, a lot of our cities now, they just do it on the street. Yes, we ignore it and we don't criminalize it, but we don't, you know, what we're doing is basically nothing in the U.S. with it, right? Where here, it looks like they have some kind of established program, keep the environment clean, people can still do their drugs if they are doing them without interfering with everyone else. Yeah. I haven't seen any homeless people, drug users or anything on the streets at all. It's still kind of early, but I haven't seen any. Very clean. This is a continuous bicycle walking path all the way around the city. That is super cool. I haven't already walked on the northern part or the, uh, that would be the western part. No, that's pretty neat. I want to cut through the city though because I want to see some of the urban stuff. It's 15 kilometers all the way around. Oh, that'd be perfect if you lived here to live somewhere along there so you could run it like every day. Oh, yeah, perfect distance. Yeah, look, it's just a beautiful park. And it's all the way around the city. So this is kind of like the center where you have the big museums and train station and shopping malls and massive boulevard going right downtown. This is where it's happening. Ton of shopping. This is basically it looks like downtown. I think that's the train station. The architecture is not as old, it's more modern. It's not as nice as like some of you know like Riga or some of these cities that have a lot more older construction. But it is what it is. Here are some old buildings. I like looking at the roof lines as well. 
some cool architecture. But there's not much of this that I've found so far. Uh, Art Nouveau. A lot of bears. It's so cool. It's like some kind of crazy goblin or something. Not happy guys. I've seen more rainbow flags here than even in San Francisco. Oh, look at skateboard ramp or something. Looks like they're going to do a launch ramp going from the stairs or something. I'm going to go check it out. Local skateboard crew and today's like they're they're doing a bunch of skate events around the city. I'm leaving before any of them even start, but those guys were super cool. I talked to them for a little bit. But this is like I guess downtown. That's like the you know the church the main church down here but the architecture down here is more like classical revival right and so you got a lot the buildings are a lot shorter they're more authentic right they it's not like the modern city that's everywhere else that I've seen here so this is like the nice part and the streets are cobbled and I think this is a place if you're gonna come down here this is a, a good place to explore at least in summer I'm, this place gets, I'm sure, freezing cold in the winter. Anyway, I'm going to continue on. Looks like they got some historic markers on buildings, so I'm going to stop around and read some of them as well. Pick up on the history. The script neoclassical building behind me is the first building built after the Great Fire of 1808, which I guess leveled the whole city. So that's the first building that was rebuilt. Nice. I just saw two Asian men walking with masks on. I, remember, I haven't seen someone wearing a mask in like months. Like it just, just shows you how the paranoia perpetuates through society. Uh, you know, obviously everyone's fine now. Even if you get COVID, you're perfectly fine. But I'm at the edge of the city now. I'm getting towards the waterfront, so I'm gonna have to double back. But take a little bit of footage of the waterfront up here the water's edge that's going into town a couple old buildings and boats this is cool this is the old harbor front amazing church the ferry's just right there so I think I'm gonna wind my way back that direction and uh, see if I can find a restaurant grab something to eat I'm hungry just had a nice panini and coffee so it's almost three o'clock, couple hours till three when my ferry heads back. So I'm just gonna, that was a perfect amount of time taking the ferry between uh, Tallinn and here. You know, you come in the morning, you got like five, six hours on this side or vice versa. You kind of see some of these countries. Another one to do, but it's a little further down, probably twice as long as the ferry ride is uh, Stockholm down there in Sweden. But um, I think this would probably be a similar feel to Stockholm. I don't really know, I've never been there, but I would assume it's about the same. But, yeah. Okay, I don't know if I'll have any more to show today, but if I see anything, I'll put it in after this. But that's for, up to you if you decide you want to watch it. Until next time, catch you later. I've seen that before. That's kind of cool though. Now they just need a no scooter area. Looks like there's a park over here, public swimming pools, changing rooms. I have to walk way over there. It's where the ferry yard is. And then they got like a Saturday market or something here along the promenade. Old section of town. It's really cool. It's like a residential area, not commercial, of the old town. Beautiful architecture down here. Apartment blocks, not changed for, you know, over 150 years. With, you know, nice park right in the middle, bakeries, coffee shops. This is the nice part of town. Past the realty shop or storefront. It's like a million five to a half million for apartments here in this area. 
quite expensive, not cheap, but it is beautiful. Clean, looks safe. This would be a nice place to live if you could afford it. This is a cool building here, a residence. It's now a business, but really cool like tower, like a bell tower up there as well. It's pretty cool, I even love the gate. 